Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we're going to be talking about my empties for the month of October. I love empties videos. I say that every single time, but it is true. For me, empties videos are just so informative. Seeing what people think having used up a product entirely, I feel like that is almost invaluable. First impressions are great, don't get me wrong. You can usually tell a lot about a product as to whether or not you're going to like it from your first few usages. But is it going to be an ongoing love? That is the question. It's like dating. First couple of dates? Seems nice. After a couple of months? Maybe, maybe not. Weird analogy, but we're going to go with it. So <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about the products that I used up in the month of October. The first one is a hair care product. This is by L'Oreal. This is the Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. I've had this for a few years and it lived under my sink for a few years for a reason and that is I didn't really love it when I first used it to be quite honest with you. I didn't feel like it did much, especially because the claims were so high. Um, it says that this damage erasing balm is specially formulated for damaged, overprocessing, chemically treated hair. This intense, luxurious reconstructing balm helps fight the five signs of damage, split ends, weakness, rough, dull, and dehydrated with an advanced treatment with ceramides. Um, all of that sounded fantastic. I didn't really feel like it did anything. So it went to go live underneath my sink and then I finished off the conditioner from my Carafix set and needed something else to use in its place because I didn't want to go out and just buy a new conditioner. So I kept using that shampoo, which you guys know I do like quite a bit, and then just started using this as a regular conditioner. As you may know, I don't wash my hair every single day. I usually wash it about twice a week. So using this as my conditioner was fine. It didn't really do anything of true value. So this is not something that I would purchase again and not something that I would recommend at all. I do also have a body care item. You guys have seen this before. This is my Earth Mama Organics Organic Nipple Butter. Love this stuff. Will continue to use it until I'm done nursing, which sadly might be sooner rather than later. I do have quite a bit of skincare in here as well, which is always very exciting. So the thing that I am most, most sad about being gone is my pharmacy green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. You guys know this is my holy grail product. I love this stuff so, so much. It is completely gone, super empty, smells really good. It smells really very clean. It's got very earthy sort of herbally scent to it with a little bit of citrus to it. I love the way it smells. I think it smells fantastic. But more than that, it works so well. So well. I absolutely love this stuff. If you saw my Sephora sale recommendations, I made some really extensive claims about this product saying that even if it smelled terrible, I would still love it. And I have to say, as weird as that is, I, I think that's still the case. <laughs> Thank God it doesn't stink. But it works so well. It dissolves all of my makeup. I never have like raccoon eyes or anything like that. It breaks down all of my eye makeup, all of my face makeup, and just leaves my skin feeling very clean and very hydrated. It never feels stripped or raw. When I go in with my cleanser as my second step, it could really be just about any cleanser because it has very little job to do at that point. I love this stuff. I cannot wait to replace it because I don't love what I've been using in the meantime, but I am holding out for the Sephora sale because why buy it at full price when I can get it at a discount? So uh, yeah, totally recommend. Absolutely. The next product that I'm just kind of so-so about, and that is this deluxe sample of the Laneige cream, skin, toner, and moisturizer. I was using this in the morning, so when I wake up in the morning and I do my skincare and any makeup that I might be wearing for the day, I don't wash my face, that's too much for my skin. So I will usually just use like a toner or an essence on a facial cotton. All right, interrupted by my usual afternoon visitor. I feel so bad for him. He woke up this morning 
just so sick. I don't know what was going on with him, but he, um, he was throwing up for the first time in literally two years. Um, he seems fine now. Whatever it was seems to have passed this morning, but oh, poor baby, poor baby. Anyway, I was talking about this Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. So again, in the morning, I would just put a little bit on a cotton, on a cotton square use it to take the night off of my face, and then go in with serums and moisturizers, all that kind of good stuff. So this does say it's a toner and moisturizer. Don't be fooled, this is not a moisturizer. This is just a toner that doesn't strip the life out of your skin. And I think that that's important. Um, I do have very dry skin, so I am definitely appreciative of things that don't you know, suck the life out of my skin, but seriously folks, you still need a moisturizer. Oh, would I repurchase? Um, maybe, maybe. It wasn't bad by any means. It wasn't bad at all. Do I know if it's something that I would go out of my way to repurchase? Probably not. But if it came back into my life in like a gift set or something like that, I would definitely use it back up again. The last skincare item I have is this right here. This is by Drunk Elephant. This is the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. Hmm. Okay, so I had purchased a little set that had this and the vitamin C serum in it. And I hated the vitamin C serum. It was very sticky and did not smell pleasant at all. But this I thought I really, really liked. So I used up that whole sample and then I purchased the full size at, I think it was last year's autumn Sephora sale, maybe the spring one, I can't remember. So I did go ahead and purchase the full size and I don't think I would buy it again. I didn't feel like it actually did anything for my skin. Um, I haven't had it in my evening rotation for a couple of weeks now and I don't miss it. My skin doesn't look or feel any different with or without this product. So for me, this is gonna be a pass. I just don't feel like it did much and it's, it, it's a pricey product. So at night, what I would do is I would go in with my melting balm cleanser, then I would sometimes use a toner, sometimes not. I'm always kind of on the fence about that. But then I would go in with this and then finish off with my moisturizer and meh. No, it's expensive, not gonna buy it again. Not something that I personally recommend. And I think it's funny because for a long time, people were hyping the daylight out of Drunk Elephant and now you never hear about them anymore. And it might coincide with PR? Unpopular opinion perhaps, but it's interesting all the same. But no, not something I would recommend. And then I do have one makeup empty and that is this right here. And I have been using it until it's literally just not usable anymore. I did put it on today when I was getting ready and I think it was the last application because this baby is dry. This is the Marc Jacobs At Lashed Mascara, and guys, I love this mascara. This is probably the best mascara I have tried all year, and I'm obsessed with it. It is so nice. So it does have a natural bristle wand, but it is quite tapered and thin, so you're able to really grab onto each and every eyelash. It's great for the top lashes as well as the bottom lashes. On me, it doesn't flake or smudge. It um, lasts all day, but it's not torture to get off of my eyelashes at the end of the night. It's just really, really good. And that kind of makes me happy because I did not get on well with the other Marc Jacobs mascara, the Velvet Noir. That flaked and transferred on me like none other. This is amazing and I really love it. I did already get a full size in my Trend Mood box that I got a few months ago. I haven't opened it yet because I'm working on a different mascara, but guys, this is really, really good. It was also another mascara or product in general that I did recommend in my Sephora recommendation video. So if you haven't caught that video yet, definitely check it out. I will make sure to have it linked right there in the cards. But that does it. So I did have a good makeup empty month or I guess beauty product empty month. And because these were all for the most part full size products and they were more expensive products as far as dollar wise go, even better. So I am very happy with 
uh, what I've used up and a lot of these things were kind of I thought on their last leg so I thought these were going to be part of my September empties but they weren't so we'll see what November brings us. <laughs> so what have you used up this month? Let me know. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you are having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.